second video on this Prius Prime. Here we are back with a frozen up, it's insulated. A lot of water here, all freezing up. This is saturated with liquid refrigerant inside it, trapped in the several ounces of oil inside of it. This will cause shops and owners lots of expense and uh, lots of frustration. Uh, some burnt out compressors, many visits back to the shop if they try to do quick recharge and, and recoveries. I've had a half hour on here. I'm just taking showing an example. Normally you would have a fender, a fender flare on here, the wheel on here, the bumper wrapped around that, and you'd never be able to get to that unless you took it apart. And remember, this is the one that has potentially some leaks. We got some dust, oil buildup. We got a lot more dust and oil buildup on that fitting down there. Dust and oil buildup on this fitting here. And a little bit of dust build up on this fitting right here all the other fittings are dry this is a 2018 it's pretty new uh, I'm letting it decay and see how long it takes to decay I already went past the negative 15 mark I know there's a lot of refrigerant by the freezing in there I'm gonna open it up again recover it back down and there we go so now I'm taking some more out I'm at the 740 gram mark. The amount in the future, the amount of compressor replacements that are gonna start again. Just like when Prius electric compressors first came on the market before shops started burning them up a lot and then learning after they burnt up a couple dozen and charged the customer for replacing their mistakes for improperly charging them and then tell the customer, oh, your compressor's burnt up. But it was the shop that actually burned it up. But the customer doesn't know that. Um, so we're going to have a lot of problems with the new generation Prius and now that these are getting a little older, uh, 2018 and seeing the potential leak problem and knowing the kind of individual, that, unfortunately the kind of individuals that what are supposedly called shops that are going to be working on them, especially if you're working on the guys who work with the little cans and they believe in topping off or going by pressures or temperatures on a heat pump system, we're gonna have a lot of burnt out compressors and add uh, several thousand dollars to completely take the system off, flush it out, replace the components after metal debris and burnt oils throughout the system. Customers are gonna get screwed, glued, tattooed, get robbed, by the actual shops that are maintaining their system. So I will immediately uh, fill this after doing the recovery, fill it back up with nitrogen to displace any possible air coming in. I'll put it positive pressure, two or three PSI. And I took the technician who's working on this vehicle and explicitly explained to him to go get some rubber plugs and caps and as soon as he takes apart every component to thoroughly put in plugs on all your vacuum, like your old vacuum plugs and stuff like that, and anything off lines, to cap off all the lines. Do not let air get in the system. This is supposed to be changed every time it's open to the atmosphere. The accumulator must be changed. But I know the guys will go, oh, we could get away without doing it. Yeah, go, go right ahead and keep doing that if the system has been exposed to air because you just ruined the desiccant material inside that accumulator if you um, expose them to the atmosphere. That's about it so far. Uh, I'll let you know what I get out of here. I gotta go get a heat gun and now I'm gonna heat this sucker up so I could get out of here and I don't have to be here one, two or three hours. I'm down to 900 microns, but by that frost level, I still know I have several ounces of refrigerant in there. All right guys, Prius Prime potential leak spots gonna have to keep an eye out on them to see what they turn into over a period of time when we start seeing more Prius Prime <laughs>